What is up everyone, my name's Al from Games Re-Up, and today I'm going to be looking at Crisis Evil 3, Santiago Infected, that's right, I've already looked at Crisis Evil 1 and 2, but today we're checking out Crisis Evil 3 for the Sega Dreamcast, let's do it. So if you've played Crisis Evil 1 and 2, you're probably going to you know, you're gonna guess what Crisis Evil 3 is. Yeah, it's another Beats of Rage game, but this time, yeah, it's the third one in the series. But you're probably asking, is it any good? Yeah, I'm gonna start by saying, to be fair, this is miles better than 1 and 2. But anyway, let's just watch the intro. Yeah, okay, the intro is, uh, yeah, it's kind of cool, and to be fair, it takes bits from other Resident Evil games, as you can see from the FMVs, and it kind of mashes them into one kind of Crisis Evil, Resident Evil. It's a mashup, basically, in a Beats of Rage game, but it's really cool, and let me explain why. So the reason this just kind of works better than Crisis Evil 1 and 2 is the movement. It's something as simple as the movement. It's so fluid in the way it, it plays. I mean, the hit detection is it just so, so good compared to 1 and 2. I mean, 1 and 2, they were just a nightmare to play, whereas this one... It actually feels fun, and it actually feels like a Resident Evil game. And the re other reason I say that is the music. I mean, the music, as you can hear, it <laughs> it's Resident Evil through and through. I mean, even the sound effects, the herbs. To be fair, I don't even remember seeing herbs in 1 and 2, although I'm pretty sure they were there. But this is the Crisis Evil experience I think everyone should have. And the fact you get to kick the crap out of zombie children. How awesome is that? I don't think I've ever seen that in any any game like it. I mean, this is just fun. And this is exactly what a Beats of Rage game should be. And it, you know, when you're sequeling Crisis Evil 1 and 2, which, let's face it, are, to be fair, pretty terrible, this is a comeback and done so damn well. Like I said, controls are smooth, music's great, graphics, you know, they're pretty passable, and there's some new stages here that aren't featured in 1 and 2, and to be fair, I'm pretty sure this stage wasn't in 1 or 2, although, you know, some stages are rehashed, but this is the experience you want, and Crisis Evil 3 is fantastic. I've been Al from Games Rip. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all soon. You can now support the channel on patreon.com forward slash gamesrip, as well as remember to like, comment, and subscribe.